We have a platform of 11 CJR seed banks that are the world store of our genetic heritage, which is incredibly important because now we're able to look more deeply into those thousands and thousands of seed varieties that are stored in uh, chilled, protected environments as a heritage to our future. The thing about the CGIER that is so unique is that they're located in the countries, the hotspots of diversity, not just for the origins of the diversity, but also for the use of the diversity. So they're in a very unique position to be able to interact with users in situ and understand much more clearly what are the demands on those users, what do they need in the way of, of traits and characteristics in the materials that they grow. There is a legal framework in which the CGIR is obligated to look after these collections. The rest of the world can have real confidence in being able to send the materials to the CG for safekeeping, working and partnering with the CG, knowing that they will be able to get the germplasm that they put in back out again with added value. We went into the Maze Germplasm Bank and we literally genotyped it all. We read the DNA. We called the project Seeds of Discovery. It's the start of a discovery process because it's for the first time that we truly start to understand what diversity do we have? What is different and what is the same? What is the kind of variation we have for traits like disease resistance or drought tolerance? And how do we make it useful? So now we have a huge amount of information, a truly data avalanche. I compare it when you dive it into the ocean there is a whole new world around us. So it's the same way we dive in the ocean of genetic resources. Those are the building blocks for where we make future varieties, the varieties that will feed the world for generations to come. We hope that over the next 20 years, we have varieties which have a 50% higher yield potential than what we have today. That is a real challenge because we know from climate change, in 20 years we have two degrees more, that takes another 20% away. So we have to increase our yield by 70% to feed the population. We basically collaborate with every wheat breeding program in the world. One of the biggest strengths the wheat program has is this open sharing of information and germplasm with our national partners. We are only meaningful, we only really have impact because of this two-way traffic. There really are huge opportunities for the increasing rate of genetic gain. If we can be successful in this across the whole CGIR, the scale of impact is just huge because we're talking about hundreds of breeding programs across uh, more than a dozen different crops and in fish and livestock as well. The impact on increased production for the world's poorest people and for food security will be large. You have to look at the whole value chain from the breeding program through to the seed sector, through to marketing and the growers ultimately being aware of the new variety, being aware of the benefits and, and leading to adoption. So that scale of impact. Investing in agricultural research really brings potential impact to the environment, to livelihoods, to health, and can have a really deep and fundamental change in the way that communities and countries succeed.